Good morning, Cocoa Beach. Hey, I wanted to do a quick video uh, updating you guys and reminding you, uh, those of you that are taking FLVS courses or those of you that are taking BVS courses, your pacing in the block schedule is different than it would normally be in a regular school year. So I wanted to bring your attention to this pacing guide to try to help you out. Um, if you are uh, in an FLVS class, the chances are, chances are you're in a 36 week pacing, unless you physically checked the box when you registered for 18 week pacing. And that might have escaped some of you. So if it did, uh, you just need to be reminded that your pacing that they're giving you is probably different than the pacing that you need to be on so that you can finish before we leave for winter break. Okay, so here is the, the pacing that you should be following if you're wanting to finish this course and you need to be finishing this course. Um, at the end of this semester, this term, fall term, so that you can start spring fresh with a new set of courses. Uh, the, you, should, you are probably in week three or four, depending on when you became active in the course. And so you need to be somewhere right around here, uh, the 36 to 48 percent mark. Um, I will tell you that the actual pacing, we're in week four of school. You might not have became active uh, immediately, might, have, might not have become active immediately. But um, depending on when you became active, we're in the week four. So you really need to be done through 48% of your course, about halfway through segment one by the end of this week. If you're not, uh, because you started a little later, that's fine. You still have the same amount of time to complete the course as, you, as anyone else would. Uh, even if you started late, it's, it, that's okay. But um, that means your pacing is off a little bit, and that might mean that you're a week into the spring term. And so if you want to be done in the fall term, then you need to step up your pacing and get to that 48% mark, okay? Now, BBS should all be on block schedule because they went and adopted the block schedule themselves. So they should all be on block schedule. But I would still double check and just see where you're at so that you're not far behind. Um, and if you're in FLBS class and you aren't sure, you can reach out to your teacher. But if you're in FLBS, I'm just telling you now, you need to be somewhere around the 45 to 48% mark by the end of the week in order to finish by the end of fall term. If you're a little behind, that's fine. But if you want to finish by fall term, you need to be around this percentage mark. Okay. You can see that it's about 10 to 12 um, uh, percent. It goes up a little bit each week as you move along. But that's about where you're supposed to be, somewhere between 10 and 15 percent of the course each week in order to stay on pace. So there's segment one and here's segment two. Uh, I'm going to post this for you guys, but I just want you to um, see this now. Now, I also need to make sure that you're aware that there is a grace period once you get logged into one of these classes. You have a 25 percent grace period where they won't withdraw you. Uh, but that grace period is up. And so uh, by the end of uh, next week, if you're not through 25% of the course, then you are going to be withdrawn from the course for attendance. Um, and that's, that's not an easy thing to fix. For FLVS, it's very difficult. For BBS, it's not as difficult. But um, there's a chance that you might even lose your percentage complete um, if you get withdrawn. So please make sure that you're paying attention to that. This isn't a typical year where we are uh, on typical pacing and that we're able to do some of the things that we're typically able to do to try to help you, you need to be careful about your pacing. Okay, so recap, about 50% done by the end of this week. Grace period is up next week. You have to be done through 25% in order to not be dropped by the end of next week at the, after the 25%, uh, the grace period at 25%. If you're not there, then you are going to get dropped. And that is not a good thing. Okay, have a great day. If you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to, to drop us a line and reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to help you. I want to thank Ms. Cope uh, for giving us this information and making sure that I get this out to you um, so that you're paced properly. All right, thanks, and have a great Cocoa Beach Day.